Hey, what's going on? This uh Gully from Gully Side Kennels. Everybody been asking how I feed my dogs. It's very simple. I do a little bit of raw. Today we're doing uh, chicken drums. We're doing Victor. But like I said, everybody say don't mix raw food with dry food. But I never had a problem in 12 years. But like I said, if y'all follow me, y'all probably do the right way. So we feeding um, five dogs today. So four dogs eating um, High Pro Plus, Victor High Pro Plus. Uh, one of my big dogs, the Pressers, he eating uh, Victor, I believe it's the Elite Big Dog Kibble. So we gonna do that. It's all dry food in the bowl. And what I do, I don't always just feed this dry food, meaning that I want my dog, the food to be a little moist. I don't like them, it's like a human eating peanuts. They get dry, they might not wanna, the appetite might, you know, go down some they might not eat the food so i keep it a little moist not drowning but i'm like i said i'm gonna show you guys how to do it so i just take the water hose because i got outside dogs too a little flavor like i said you don't want to drown the food like i said they already know what time it is so i'm gonna show you how we do it i'm gonna talk about some stuff afterwards so you know just follow me My presser right there, female presser. Next, we feeding um my five month old bully, XL bully. Follow me, come on. That sin right there, that's five months. Y'all know him, he the most known dog probably in the DMV produced. You know, I don't know, probably like 13 breedings we did with them so far, all took. That's Rampage right there. I'm gonna get this last one on this side for right now. So we feed Ransom. Ransom is a um, female. 11 months off of uh, Pro Bulls Marvel and uh, Good Life Hershey. Good Life Hershey's in Canada. My boy um, owned Good Life Hershey um, in uh, Saskatchewan. Good dude, man. Diamond Bill Kennel. This over here is my big boy, Beast. Got it from the uh, Steel City Kennels in Hamilton, Virginia. Hamilton, Canada. Had a drive to go get him reverse Brendel. I love this dog. It's like a white tiger, but he ain't the most. Appetite always on point. So we gonna let them chow down for a little bit. So basically right now they all eating. We just give them some time. You know, Rampage, he the wild one. Knocked down his dog food, not the first time, but he eating it regardless though. Don't know food get wasted. And even if I open the kennel, let him out, I can let the other dogs go finish his food. There's no dog aggression when it comes to, you know, the food. The only thing I wouldn't suggest, you never want to feed um, the chicken with the bone. Let, let the dog share that because it's something about the chicken that they really like. It's, you know, flavor pretty good. And from what I know from my OGs, one chicken leg quarter is like a bag of dog food protein so just remember that but like i said the presser right now she just um finished eating first um the other three they still eating beasts he got probably like five cups of dry food in there but if you take a look at him over there just you know view him right now that boy is phenomenal he get the job done whatever i put out there he's gonna eat and the thing about it is with the presses i tell everybody you can't be scared of your dog. So, come on, get all that shit. If you can't go get the food, you know what I'm saying, no matter what size the dog is, like, you know, that's not your dog. You gotta be, be able to be brave, step in there from a young age, you know, mess with the food. If you can't do that, that's not your dog for real. So right now, Sin look like he's finishing up. Rampage, I don't know what he did over there, but you know, he's doing his thing. 
So we're gonna speed up the process. I got a, um, a bag of raw chicken drums. Every time I bring a bag down here, look at all of them. They already know what's in the bag. That's how you know you got some good dogs in there. And you know you're feeding them good. So I'm like, I show you, this how we do it. We ain't, all of like I said, these are good dogs, but we gonna do what we gotta do. And at a young age, I teach them how to eat raw food so they know how to chew right. Five months, like I said, there's no cooked food. That's how it's five months. Wild boy right there. This, this one, she, um, like I said, she 11 months. She'll be 12 months. October 28th. Blue Tribe Merle. We're going to bring it to one of our sensei sons. Rampage grandson. You know, but like I said. Let's, let's go by B. You want to give her too? Like I said, to me, it's a balanced diet. Everybody do stuff different. But um, you follow me, you know our dogs are real. <laughs> Don't try this at home, Mike. You don't want to put your hand in there. We're going to come back down. We do it on rotation a little bit. Make everybody get what they He got a big one. Let's let's get these these other two. You see the big dog on the yard. Last time I checked, he was by like 140. It's not teasing, just letting them know that I control this. You gonna get from this last one too. Like I said, it's all how you introduce, you know, the food to the dog. It's not teasing them, just letting them know that you're still in control. So we gonna check and see, cause I know Rampage spilled his food over here. So, um, empty this bag. We gonna rest that right there. So if you take a look over here, these dogs eat good, but you know, Rampage sometimes he old, he about to be, I think he eight this year. But we got some dog food on the floor, so I'm gonna let him out. He gonna run around a little bit. I'm gonna let Sin out. That's his um, great great grandson. Sin, come over here, boy. Sin. Okay, okay. So. Two, two males in here. Of course, like I said, that's the great with grandfather. Rampage spilled this food, but like I said, we need to clean up a little bit. So um, he's in there helping Rampage clean up because, I mean, you can't be wasting food like that. So they doing a good job. No dog aggression. They're locked in the kennel. Basically can't get out. But like I said, there's dry food on the floor that needs to be cleaned up. When you introduce dogs at a young age and they grow together and they know you're the alpha, there's nothing to worry about. I'm gonna let them take their time and do that. I'm gonna let um, Ransom out. Like I said, she's a big girl. Everybody thinks she's almost two, but not even one yet. You know, a real playful female. Should be coming on her cycle pretty soon. Like I said, we just played by Aiden on Rush. We got a lot of stuff going on right now, so 
Like I said, we can't complain. Good female, solid. Can't complain. Beast is over there. Come here, girl. She smelled a bag of chicken. Get out of there. No, come in. Come on. She's in there right now. We gonna close that up. I'm gonna let out the presser just to show you guys something real quick. This is my uh, female beauty from um, Rockefeller Kennels. She's um, coming on a cycle pretty soon. But um, like I said, we let them run around a little bit. They got a lot of yarn for you. Go run to the camera like that. Just let it flow. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so. They're doing pretty good. Beast, come here. Back up for me. So basically, that's it, you know. So, like I said, this is just a quick video showing you guys how we do everything. Um, it's a lot more to come. But like I said, like this is a little quick preview. All right, cut it.